Hey guys, it's Searden, and today we're doing a review of the Nerf Vortex Praxis. So the Praxis was released in 2011, and of course, since it's a Vortex Blaster, it suits Vortex discs, which are just foam discs and kind of like mini frisbees, but the Praxis was really the main manual blaster of that time because there was the Nitron, which was fully automatic, and then you had the Praxis, which is about the same size, although it was single fire and didn't have slam fire or anything. And came with a 10 disc magazine, as you can see here. It's pretty loaded up, although these red discs are not actually the ones that came with it. It came with the green kind, but they're pretty much the same, just look a bit different. So the Praxis doesn't really come with that many accessories, although it does come with a stock, which is not really very complex, and it's a lot like the Recon stock, and it's a bit wobbly. As you can see, it's a bit bendable, although it does have this middle support, which makes it a bit sturdier, and it's quite a long stock. And it's a decent stock, although, I mean, the wobbly bit is a bit of an issue. But that's all the attachments the Praxis comes with. So to fire the Praxis, it's not all that difficult. You load up the magazine with as many discs as you feel like, and you put it in a blaster like that. And there's a magazine release on each side, which is nice. And there's a pump grip up here, so you just pump it like that. It doesn't have slam fire, but now it's all primed, and you can pull the trigger, and it'll shoot the disc. So there's quite a bit of tactics on the Praxis, more than you might think. So to get started, there's a tactical rail on top of the blaster for whatever you want to put on there. There's a sling attachment point in this front bit, which you could also use as an iron sight. There's another sling attachment point in the back. You could also maybe clip something onto the stock without much of an issue. And then of course, there's a stock attachment point here for most stocks that work. And there's also one more thing which is pretty important and if I have the blaster primed and say I get a jam, well there's no like jam door or anything, but there is a button on the side here which you can pull which ejects the jam disc which is pretty helpful. So that's the end of the overview of the Praxis. Now moving on to the range test. Hey guys, it's Tom and today we're here at the range to range test the Nerf Vortex Praxis. So we're just gonna be shooting its stock vortex discs because that's really all it can shoot anyways starting off with flat shots let's go okay now angled shots okay that's it for shooting the discs now let's check the ranges okay so our first disc here is at 35 feet Next one is around 35 feet as well. Um, and up here we have one at 41 feet. Um, and then way up here, we have one at 55 feet, one around that as well. And our last disc is at 57 feet. Note, angled shots actually shoot worse out of Vortex Blasters. Anyways, that's it for the range test. Now onto the conclusion. So overall, the Praxis is a pretty good Vortex Blaster. The ranges it got were fairly decent, considering there's a slight breeze out today, and Vortex Blasters don't really like the breeze all that much, so they're much better for indoor wars, where they can bounce around and ricochet off walls, but outside they're okay, just not as good as darts would be. So the Praxis came in several different color schemes. There's the standard green version we have here, and there's also a re-release which is white and some other color I think it had like a yellowy accent to it or something and that's pretty hard to find and it was also re-released as the Lumatron without a stock and a different color scheme which is kind of limey green we'll have a review of that later it also came with a firefly tech clip so it shot glowing vortex discs and it was kind of cool so the Praxis is a pretty decent performing blaster for Vortex blasters in general and it does perform a little bit less than the Proton and other of the single shot Vortex blasters, there are not really too many of them, but the Praxis does seem to perform slightly less than those, although it's a pretty comfortable blaster and a pretty nice looking blaster and the included clip works pretty well, although it's much better when you have a higher capacity one. So. Overall, if you really like Vortex Blasters, I think the Praxis is a good one to get. 
Although, nowadays Vortex Blasters are kind of outclassed by most things, so it's a fun blast to use indoors, but if you're looking for a really good blaster for competitive wars, then most Vortex Blasters aren't really that kind of blaster. So that's the end of our review of the Nerf Vortex Praxis. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.